Is your Google Assistant not working? That can be a pain, but fortunately there are some simple things you can do to see if you can get your Google Assistant up and running again. If you're connected to a smart home using the Google Assistant, that could be even more bothersome. First thing to do is make sure that Google services are actually working themselves. An easy one for that is going to downdetector.com. On Down Detector, you can look at Google, you can look at Google Nest, and just make sure that their actual services are up and running. Next thing to do is just make sure that the phone you're using actually supports the Google Assistant. For example, you need to be using Android 5 with at least 1 gig of memory, or Android 6 with 1.5 gigs of memory. Here are some other requirements that are needed too. Gemini is also a new thing, the Google Assistant AI, which has its own requirements listed right here. Next thing to check is just make sure that the Google Assistant is actually enabled on your phone. Maybe you have it toggled off. To get to that, you're going to go into your settings on your phone. You're going to look at Google, um, which is down here. Click on Google, and then there's a tab that says All Services. So go to All Services and then go to Search Assistant and Voice right there. And within Search Assistant and Voice, you click on Google Assistant. So within Google Assistant, then click on this one right up top. I'm not going to say it because it's going to activate this whole thing. So you click on that and you make sure that this toggle button is turned on. If it's not turned on, you just solved your problem by turning it right back on. Next thing you can do, which is fast and easy, is to check for updates on your phone from the Google Play Store. To do that, click on your avatar on the top right, right there on your picture, and then you're going to go to Manage Apps and Device, and then within there, Updates. So, all apps up to date. Mine are up to date. Nothing's on there, but if you had Google on there, other relevant Google apps on there, you could just update them right from the Google Play Store. After you've checked for the app updates, you can check for a system update for your Android operating system. To do that, you go into your settings on your phone. You're going to click on System, uh, which is down here. And then within System, you can look at Software Updates right there. Uh, mine says my Pixel is up to date. This is a Pixel 7a. Um, if it wasn't up to date, you could click on that, update the system, Android operating system, and that could potentially solve your problem right there. Next, you can try a simple restart of the phone. That's a classic one, isn't it? Um, I like to restart it using the Google Assistant, but if the Google Assistant isn't working, like in this case, um, you can also hold on the, the power button and the volume up button right there. Bingo, and you can just click restart right on your phone. So restart it, try the Assistant again. If it's enabled, everything else um, is on, maybe that'll get it working. If not, here are a couple other things you can try. If the restart didn't work, you can also check your internet connection. It might be on your phone, or it could be on the modem in your basement, office, wherever you're keeping it. On your phone, to check the connection, go to Settings, Network and Internet, right there. And then for me, it's on, it's working. Um, if it's not, you can click on the internet. That should pull it up. Make sure that the Wi-Fi is toggled on. You can also click on the gear next to your data. Make sure that the data is turned on, you're mo using mobile data. If you don't have uh, Wi-Fi, etc., like that. Just make sure that the internet is connected. Something else you may need to try is retraining your voice model on your Google Assistant. Uh, to do that, you just open up the settings on your phone, scroll down to Google, click on that, and this is going to be within the All Services tab again, so click on All Services. Go to Search, Assistant, and Voice here. This is where we look to make sure it was enabled before. And then click on Google Assistant. Um, within there, you're going to click on this um, top one right there. And the second option down is Retrain Voice Match Model. So you click on this. Um, it will ask you to say things. It's recording me now, which isn't ideal. So I'm going to cancel that. Um, but you'll retrain the voice model on your assistant. And if your voice changed, you just went through puberty or something like that, who knows, maybe that will fix the problem for you. Something else you can try is to disable the assistant on other assistive devices like Alexa. If you have the Alexa app on your phone and the assistant is turned on there, 
Maybe it's competing with the Google Assistant. You're having issues. So to do that, you open the Alexa app and you click on the more, which is actually in the bottom in this app. It's these three lines. And then within more, click on settings there. And then uh, device settings, the third one there. So then you're gonna look on Alexa on this phone. So mine is turned off right now, but you could enable the Alexa hand-free right there just by toggling this on. Uh, mine is turned off, so shouldn't be an issue, but that's something else you can try, just disabling the assistant on another assistive device like Alexa. Something else worth checking is if your battery saver is on, that could be causing you issues. Maybe using the assistant's using up too much battery, <clears throat> so it's being blocked that way. So from my quick settings, I have battery saver in there. You can just go in, toggle it right off. So I just turned off battery saver. You can also find it through the settings, but I like the quick settings. Um, if you just want to turn battery saver on or off, well, which is useful. You know, if you're out and you know you're not going to be by a, a plug somewhere you can charge your phone very frequently, it's good to have battery saver in those quick settings. If nothing's worked so far, you may need to do the factory data reset, which is probably the biggest pain of any of these. Just make sure your data is saved, you can access it again, because when you factory data reset your phone, it's gonna wipe everything like it was a new experience for you. To factory data reset, go into your settings, scroll down to system near the bottom, and then you're gonna scroll down to the bottom, reset options, and then the bottom one again, so they put this at the bottom of everything, because it's kind of like a last resort, so you can think of the last one, last resort. Erase all data, factory data reset. I'm not gonna erase everything right now because I don't wanna do that. My assistant's working just fine. Um, but if you want it, you can erase all of that data. That's a last option. If you've tried everything else we listed here, nothing else has worked so far, you may wanna try the factory data reset. If you're a Google Assistant power user and you've noticed that this year, 2024, a lot of the features are gone, you're not alone. Google did actually remove around 20 different features from the assistant so that they could focus on quality and reliability, they said. So they just want to make sure the features that they have functioning are working really well consistently for everyone around the globe. On our, in our article, we have some of the features listed uh, that aren't working anymore on assistant and that was deliberate by Google. I hope this video was helpful for you. Hope you can get your assistant working again, connected to your smart devices, making your life easier, more enjoyable, you know, all those great things. If you like the video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. We'll see you again soon.